Hey, how is going? Today I'll show you the easy method how you can get the newest Kodi app to your Fire Stick. So first of all, what you have to do is get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store. So just go to search on your device, here it is, and there in the search bar, we just have to start typing the loader. And usually, as you can see, there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because it already popped out for us at the bottom. So just click on the loader and that's the application which you need to download to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up and to do so, we'll go to settings. Here they are. Then scroll down, go to my Fire TV. And here we have to enable developer options. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. In that case, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now what you have to do is click on the middle button on your remote and do that for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which are going to appear right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADP debugging, then go to install unknown apps. And here you have to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now just go to the list of apps on your device and here you'll find the loader. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more really important thing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because I got a great application for Fire Sticks. They are super fast and not expensive for such a premium service. Basically, a month is going to cost you like a cup of coffee. So what the VPN does, it encrypts all the data that you send through the internet so nobody can track you online or snoop on you and your internet provider won't be able to know what apps you are downloading or what videos you are watching. And that's extremely important if you want to stay out of trouble online, especially with laws getting stricter and stricter. And if you don't have a VPN yet but would like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go get that offer and use the loader safely. And now we just open the loader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click on home. And then here in the search bar, we have to type a link, which is going to be Cody.tv. So the link is Cody.tv. Make sure to enter the link exactly as you see on the screen, otherwise it's not going to work. And then press on go. In a couple of seconds, the Kodi website is going to open. Here it is. What we have to do here is click on that sandwich button right here and then go to download. Now a new web page has opened. We have to scroll down a bit, select Android as our platform because Fire Sticks are Android based. So we click on Android then scroll down once again and for fire sticks usually you would use arm v7a version or 32 bit so we'll click on that and now the load is going to start usually it doesn't take long but of course as always it all depends on your connection speed then click on install in the right bottom corner and after the app has been installed do not press on open yet instead click on done because here we have an option to delete the installation file as we don't need it anymore. So click on delete and delete once again. And now we have deleted the installation file. Now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, click on it. And once you scroll down here at the bottom, you'll find Kodi. Now I recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the bottom of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way application is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be way easier to access it every time you need Kodi. Also, once again, do not forget to use a VPN when streaming something over Kodi to stay out of trouble online. And once again, a link to a great offer for NordVPN and 4 months for free of NordVPN is going to be in the pinned comment below this video. So connect to VPN and use Kodi safely. That's it for today, hope the guide was helpful and see you next time, bye bye.